So the goal now that I have a garden, and I've had one for several years now, is to be able to automate said garden. So this video is going to show you how I'm going to implement my automation. So stay tuned. In an effort to automate the garden, what I have purchased is a soaker hose. This one is 75 feet. Now that may be a little bit longer, but the goal is to use it to run to here and then out here as well. Um, so there are some areas like the sidewalk that'll end up getting wet because it's a soaker hose, it's gonna soak through regardless of where it's at. And I'm not too worried about that. Uh, eventually this will, this is like phase one right now. Um, but in the long term, there'll be additional changes made and this hose will get reused in that. And I also have a automatic water timer. And so this one has four connection points on here. And so with this, you can actually connect up four different hoses and set them to run at four different times on four different schedules for four different durations. So again, this system is designed to grow as I make uh, future adjustments to the garden and whatnot. All right, so I have my existing hose already here. Just gonna have to disconnect it and probably move this out the way and then put the soaker hose in place. And I may actually even still use this in certain spots, um, but I'm not fully sure as of yet. All right, so I have the water timer installed now. And so right now I'm only using one zone, um, but I have the option of adding three other zones here. And so I actually have it in a manual water mode right now, and it has 29 minutes remaining but um, I can cycle through here and I've set that this particular zone, which is zone one, runs three times a week at like six o'clock in the morning. And so if we go out to the yard, I have the hose just ran through, and this is the soaker hose, right, by the way. So the regular hose, as you see, is right there and it transitions to the soaker hose. So just a standard connection here and transitions over and this soaker hose is just ran through uh, all the beds and the containers as well. Um, and so I have one loop, it goes there, there, and then back up through here in these two containers into this bed, back across through both of these containers into this bed, into these containers, and it ends in this bed and here you'll see the end cap of the soaker hose here so the water just doesn't fly out of the end. And so that is one hose um, that I have set up. I'll probably go back and reposition some of these containers so that they are in between the beds, like in that space right there. Um, that way I don't have as many uh, empty spots like here where it goes from this side to this side um, that are not being really watered. Um, but the plan is to add more additional grow beds. And so this hose will ideally be used in a greater capacity in addition to adding more zones. All right, so I have the timer automatically set up. Um, as you see, it's set for 6 a.m. on Sunday. And so this one actually gives you the option to set the days of the week. So if we cycle through, I actually go in and turn it so you don't have to twist your head. So if we cycle through, so right now it's set for every two days, but you can actually change the option to set it on certain days of the week. And so if you change it to the number of days, um, usually I do every other day in my garden instead of every day. Um, that way the plants are not so reliant upon water. Um, so I may actually change this to every three days, it just depends. But every other day seems to work best in my scenario. But then I have it set to 6 a.m. And it has a cycle option. I'm not sure what the cycle is. I gotta read the manual. But um, so yeah, cycle set for 6 a.m. Oh, I guess if you wanted to run multiple times in the same day, you could do that cycle, so A, B, C. And then how long you want it to run. So I have it set for 30 minutes. And that's it. And so as you see, it's set for auto and it will 
there you go next start time 6 a.m on sunday because today is currently friday so that would be two days from today and it does have an option to do a rain delay and i believe this one allows you to set it for up to seven days after a rain so if you wanted to wait um let's say it rained today and i wanted to wait two days before it tries to kick on again i can come out here and set it and tell it to hold off for two days all right so the timer is running according to schedule it is sunday so there it is sunday 6 5 a.m and i set it for six o'clock and it's got 25 minutes remaining so I'm going to go out here into where it is ran to. And so as you see, there's the soaker hose and the water coming off of it. And it's ran through pretty much all of the plants that I have here. And so in some areas this ran a little bit higher, which I probably need to adjust, like this one right here caught up on that leaf. Ideally, you put the soaker hose at the ground level, and that way it will um, actually get into the dirt. And these are weeds, so pull all of that out. So that wraps things up for this video. Um, hopefully you've gotten some ideas on how to automate things. I know a lot of people are trying to build like Raspberry Pis and Arduinos in their automations, but you don't necessarily have to do that. I wanted to show a way that this can be done using off the shelf products. And, you know, it's very easy, might be a little bit more expensive and, you know, it takes less time, but you're paying more to do that in less time. In addition, you have, um, you don't have to worry about the automated items you know that you build having to diagnose them and stuff like that nature worst case scenario you take it back to the store or you request a warranty repair or something like that nature from the manufacturer if something does start acting up thank you for watching this video if you have not already please be sure to subscribe down below also be sure to like this video if it has given you an idea to how to automate things in your garden and until the next time peace out